Hi everyone, our group three and our topic is machine intelligent forex trading. Our supervisor is Dr. Metalub Kushi and our tutor is Ling Chi. Uh, our motivation is from four perspectives. Firstly, highly liquidity of the foreign exchange market. Humans have a limited attention span to handle overloaded information compared to computers and algorithmic trading is becoming increasingly popular. And lastly, Based on the exper experimental comparison, more, more profits can be gained by automatic trading than manual trading. And also our objective for, of the work is come from three perspectives. Firstly, we will in implement the existing automatic trading strategy into the opportunity that pro proposed by other before. And secondly, we will compare strategies for three currency pairs and to find out the best one evaluated by using RMSC and a profit gain from backtesting. And lastly, we will divide the model into deep learning and machine learning. And also we, we will compare the performance of these two categories. Uh, the Forex exchange market is a global marketplace for exchanging national currencies against one another. Because of the worldwide reach of trade, commerce, and finance, the Forex market has been regarded as the largest financial market. It can be accessed 24 hours a day and five days a week. Currencies always trade against each other as exchange pairs, and traders will make profits only when they buy at a low price and sell at a high price. During the trading, we use pipes as the unit of evaluating the, uh, the final profit. Usually, except the USD dollar and Japanese yuan, we use 0.0001 equals to one pipe. The pie chart shows a good summary of the deep learning models used in the published papers for recent years. It has shown that LSTM, CNN, and RNN are the top three models that are more popular for predicting the financial time series data. Uh, so in order to teach the machine to make decisions, uh, the system will follow this framework. So first, we need to uh, input our data source as a form of either time series or uh, charts. The time series can be included in, into uh, open, close, high, and low price. And the charts can be uh, K-charts, candlestick charts, and bar charts. Uh, then we would uh, extract more features as technical indicators and implement pre-processing method to uh, denoise. Uh, then we will select different models in uh, machine learning, deep learning, and reinforcement learning. So the results will be up output in the form of either uh, regression or uh, classifications. And finally, the trading strategy will making the trading decision based on the results. So as you can see, the whole framework is just like a neural network. In our project, we uh, combine the different methods to uh, test the profit. And for our model selection, we had three different approaches. So for, for time, time series approaches, uh, we just analyze the relationship between different time steps and predict based on the historical data. For uh, non-time series approaches, we had image processing, uh, which predicted trends by uh, filtering the pixels. And also we had decision boundaries, which can separate the historical samples into uh, different boundaries based on a uh, specific labeling method. And also we had a decision rewarding system, uh, which can reward the model based on each trading results. And finally, for our uh, trading strategy, uh, the trading signal is triggered when the price increase or decrease by 0.1%. Uh, so here is the RMSE results for deep learning models. Uh, the blue orange, uh, the blue, uh, orange, and the gray colors represents uh, three different currency empire. And the, the yellow line represents the mean MSE, RMSE. 
So as the LSTM based model did perform, poor performance in uh, CAD and USD and the GBP and the USD, attention based model improved the performance of LSTM on those data sets. Uh, and also uh, the CNN plus LSTM model had the best performance on the data. It might be because the diversity of features. Uh, so here is the RMSE results for machine learning models. And uh, as you can see, the two SVR models has the same uh, distribution. And we can tell the wavelength transform improve the performance of SVR. And also uh, XGBoost has the best mean performance. Uh, but surprisingly, KNN has a really low RMSE on CAD to USD data side. Uh, so here is the back testing results in terms of uh, profits. Uh, a KNN achieves the best average profit about 2,600 pipes for uh, machine learning models. And next page, uh, here is the, the back testing results for deep learning method. And ARIMA plus RSTM achieves the best average profit about 3,500 pipes. And we had more models on uh, reinforcement learning and deep learning. Here is the section of discussion and evaluation. Based on our experiments, we have identified several characteristics among different models. As the RSTM based models reflect its ability of remembering information on finding the long term regression bias. Traditional machine learning models like ARIMA still can learn linearity over time in low dimension future spaces. CNN models are more likely to provide future diversity and the interpretation of the data. So it's called potentially avoid the overfitting problem by enlarging the feature size. As the performance could be largely affected by the labeling methods. Moreover, the implementation of attention mechanism is quite flexible for the artifact, uh, uh, architecture of the model. And it, it can improve the performances of RSTM. Attention mechanism reflects uh, the relationship between future and historical sequences. In the, in the graph, we can see the performance of child deep learning models and non machine learning models. And we can find that deep learning performs uh, generally better than machine learning. Among these um, 21 models, RSTM plus ARIMA model performs the best. We think the main reasons for this are as follows. First of all, machine learning requires artificial feature engineering. And how much feature information the model can learn from data sets depends on the quality of feature engineering, which often requires rich professional knowledge and experiences. However, deep learning does not require artificial feature engineering and the model can extract uh, feature information um, for learning by itself. Secondly, RSTM can help the model to adapt to different training environments. For example, the training patterns around 2008 are quite different. And the RSTM enables the model's training pattern to be more suitable for the um, current um, training environment. Finally, for deep learning, more data and uh, features mean better model performances. Uh, as we have shown that the USTM model performs even better with the uh, addition of feature ARIMA attention, and attention. While machine learning can easily reach the bottleneck and fail to improve further. On the other hand, deep learning also has these advantages. The time complexity of deep learning models is uh, often much higher than that of machine learning, which leads to the failure of some high frequency, frequency um, stages and uh, has higher requirements on hardware. In addition, different uh, from machine learning, 
the model trained by deep learning is a black box model, which cannot be used for explanation and analysis. Next page, please. Okay, um, for conclusion, in terms of forest, tra forest track prediction area, the performance of deep learning is better than machine learning, which can explicitly follow the characteristics of forex trading. And the RSTM is the most powerful algorithm which contains many combination models, such as uh, ARIMA plus LSTM, attention plus LSTM, and FLF plus LSTM. After integrating 21 models, ARIMA plus LSTM is the best strategy which gains 3,500 per perhaps uh, in, in the area profit of three daily currency pairs. With regard to the future work, we still should increase data volume by testing more instrument and test with data on different interv intervals such as 30 minutes and five minutes data. In addition, we had better input the ability to deal with special events such as interest introducing NLP to provide the social and economic context. Thank you for listening.